Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snop and today I'm doing another Cisco CCNA course and uh, basically in this one, it's going to be pretty short basically in this one I'm going to show you how to block and unblock ports on a switch or router and that way you can make it more or less secure depending on what you want to do with it there's also other methods to make your stuff more secure there's actual a mode called port security, I think, I have to look that up. But basically what this mode does is it'll recognize whatever current device is connected to the port that you're messing with. And it will record its MAC address. It will then, and you gotta make it static. And then you, um, you, you disconnect it, connect to another machine with a different MAC address and the thing won't even talk to it or it, see the MAC address and it doesn't even want to deal with it. And um, I'm not going to get into that. That's going for another video because that's an entirely different mode. But in this I'm going to get into very basic how to uh, open up ports and how to close ports. And why would you want to close it real quick is so some Joe Blow doesn't come up and start plugging their computer in without you knowing and they have to go to a given port to plug their thing in so anyways let's jump into a quick advertisement for the channel and that way you can help it grow and become better quicker much more than I can do just a mom if you would like to support us at TechFuse now then please do one or all of the following what you can do is you can select the Tech Fusion Help logo at the top and this will take you to our Tech Fusion Help YouTube page or you can select the PayPal button that will take you to our PayPal donation page or you can select the Patreon campaign button and that will take you to our Patreon campaign. Now saying that if you don't have the financial means or you already done that or whatever it may be and you don't want to do that but you still want to support us you can also do some of the following you can leave a like and share the this video and any other video that you want from us and maybe even our channel and tell people why you like us so other people could come and enjoy this and also help build up this community you can also if if you like to help us but you dislike a certain video for whatever reason go ahead and leave a dislike but tell us what you don't like about it so we can fix it in the future and also as always please feel free to subscribe and check out our other videos and when you're checking out our videos if you really want to support us just go ahead and drop the ad blockers and that way we can get our revenue but if you feel for, if you want to continue to use your ad blockers, then feel free to do so. It's not like I'm not doing it. Welcome back. So as far as things goes, what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down one of these ports. I got two computers hooked up to, as you can see. A switch in the interface the actual code is literally the exact same as for a router so whether you're dealing with a Cisco router or a Cisco switch I'm not talking about Wi-Fi routers if you're dealing with a Cisco router or Cisco switch and dealing with a CLI command then it's the exact same thing now all right, I got back up. Uh, so as far as things goes, let's say that I don't want PC1 to connect to switch anymore for whatever reason, or have anyone have the ability to connect through that switch. Or let's say I am running into some problems. If I, in fact, it's better if I'm running into some problems. I can do uh, show run, use spacebar to go down, and you can check out your stuff. And as you see here, everything looks pretty good and it is working. Now, 
go and config T to shut down one fort. Interface um, FA. I think the PC one zero two. Shut down. And as you see, yeah, it is. And there you go. And we're back into the global. So let's do an error show run. And as you see here, interface um, Ethernet port 2, it's shut down. So if, if you run into problems, one of the ways to figure out why a switch or router ain't communicating, and I, I spent like an hour on this problem, probably even more, trying to figure out why a router wasn't communicating with one of my computers uh, that I was working on. And um, basically what was happening is the router that I was working on for someone else, it, um, and also the switch, apparently the ports that I was trying to use was shut down. So one of the first things that you really should do is do simply that. That will save a bunch of time. Let's go to a computer that does work with it if, if you're not already at it. And do a show run and, and look at the ports and make sure it works or not. So if it doesn't work, then there, there's your problem. If it does work, then check a cable and, and uh, check a couple other things. And we'll probably get into that in a later video on how to figure out that. Now let's say I want to bring that uh, thing back up. Um, sorry about that. That was pretty much like config T. It's just extra key. So uh, from there, I need to go back into the interface FA02. Uh, and then uh, no shut. And that brings it back up. Simple as that. And uh, as you see there, it's good. It's back up, no problems. So if I was still having problems here, what I will do is give it a little bit, so I'll look at the lights, because on the actual switch, it would be orange, because it takes a little bit for it to recognize everything. And then um, if it turns red, then I take a, I really take a look at this and I figure out if there's that security mode I was talking about on it because it'll turn red on the light bill. Um, depending on the switch, you might not even have lights. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe the lights were busted out and got a refurbished switch. But um, that's a huge thing to look for is the lights on the switch itself. Um, but if, if everything's green and you're still having problems, it's probably not the cable. Uh, I'll still check the cable, make sure all the little strands are working. But it's probably not a cable itself because it's getting power somewhere. It's, it's detecting it. So I'll fold around, try to figure out if it's a computer, if it's a switch, if it's um, a card on switch, if it's uh, if it's the cable itself, um, and and then you know you, you should pretty much get a good idea and be able to fix it. But anyways, uh, hopefully this has helped you out in uh, protecting your port. So again, in order to shut down a port, you go to con config T, the interface, whatever port you want to shut down, and then um, shut down. Literally just type in shut down. And then, um, and, and by the way, if you want to keep the settings, you need to go into global interface. And, and in fact, let's do that. So we are in the global interface, just put in W or copy run uh, blah. Oops. Um, uh, oh, run copy. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, just try and play with it, around with it a little bit. It might be this model that I picked. I, I didn't really look in the model switch. But on a normal one, you just write down um, copy run whatever or if you want to make it your default flash file then you just put in w in the global config and that, that uh, writes it to the mem uh, memory sorry for that uh, but um, if you if you want to make a separate flash that's where that copy run 
command comes in and you just do copy run whatever the flash file you want to name it as if you want to uh, and just add it in here real quick since I just brought that up if you want to find what flash files are on your system do a uh, show flash if you want to run one do uh, copy whatever flash file's name then run and it will uh, run it but anyways uh, and, and basically th if um, if you really know how to deal with switches and stuff and if you deal with like a single business like if you work at a single business and not as a freelancer what you should do and it's not best practices but it's realistic practices what you should do is do a uh, flash file as a backup to allow you to get into the system if you mess up somewhere uh, what I personally do is I um, instead of writing that to the memory to the uh, actual you know startup whatever what I do is I am writing it to a flash file um, whenever I first interface with the, the switch router I, I write the a flash file for it, its default so I can get back to it easily and then if um, if um, I, I'm going through it I write a separate flash file and just save to that one flash file how through and I allow it to uh, to build up over time and if I'm doing an experiment then I write a third flash file and that way if I mess up then I can go to either one of the two and if I mess up the main flash file I can go back to default so it's kind of like a uh, restore a system restore but anyways, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Nordic Tech Fusion Up. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Now, if um, if you have any comments or anything, or maybe a better way of doing it, then please feel free to leave a comment below, and that way everybody knows. But um, lastly, if if you like this, please leave a like, please subscribe, and please share. Also, please visit techfusionup.com the Patreon campaign, PayPal donations, and most importantly, my other videos. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a dislike, but also tell me why, and that way I can focus in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Nordic Tech Fuse, and I hope you have a great day.